all parents and teachers, or anybody who is hosting a kid's Halloween party. You need some ideas on what to do in this party to keep all these kids interested and having a good time. Well, I put together a list and we're getting right to it. Hopefully something on here will help your party be extra more fun, exciting than everybody else's. Stick with me, I got all the ideas, people. Well, for the most part. <laughs> anyway, um, bobbing for apple, apples, a classic. It, less, you wanna be gross like our parents did. Make sure you're changing out the water every so often. Don't keep the same water through the whole party. That's a lot of faces going in there. We've learned a lot since COVID. It's okay, cause you know, it's water, it's washing away, but after like, I don't know, the 20th bob in there, change up the water or have a spare, bring in some new apples. <laughs> um, Halloween design balloons and dart popping. So you could get like the, blow, the ones that you blow up with your mouth. Don't spend a lot of money. Thumbtack them to a board and just have them dangling like skull and bones, pumpkins, ghosts, goblins. You can look up online and find themed, Halloween themed um, balloons and have kids throw the darts at them. Um, or you can find ha plastic Halloween cups like this. Technically it was a Halloween cup that I'm drinking out of. There was orange and black and purple. You could get a bunch, they're a dollar a piece and you could like set those up and have kids throw balls at them to knock them over. Uh, a Halloween pinata, check like Party City or a warehouse or online. You can order pin pinatas and just put a bunch of Halloween candy in there. It'll keep them busy whacking that pinata for a little bit. You can make your own treat bags. Um, you could do an array of all different kinds of candies and put them in different dishes and you could give them a bag and be like you get to take home all the candy you can fit in that bag and they can go through just like it's a candy shop that keeps them busy. You can do this at the tail end of the party like they're making their own uh, treat bags to take home. You can make a mask, either paper mache, or you can buy masks and they can just paint them and add glitter. Do a little research on there. I'm not sure what your craft level is. It might be easier for you to make uh, to buy pre-made masks and decorate them. But paper mache isn't really hard to learn. Um, you can watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube and learn how to do it and practice before the party. Um, you could paint or carve pumpkins. Um, Usually Halloween parties aren't necessarily on Halloween, but I am noticing a lot of parents are boycotting trick-or-treating and now just having their kids come together for uh, Halloween parties instead. So if this is your thing, you could just carve pumpkins um, either the day of Halloween and put them out for the night, or you could do it a week before. Um, mini pumpkin slingshots, you know the decorative pumpkins you could just buy like a stack of them and get a slingshot and they have to launch it at a board and try to get it to splatter you know kids love that kind of stuff um or yeah mini pumpkin slingshots i just said that a halloween trivia game you could make this up um age appropriate or you could do um name the scenes from this halloween movie um or you could show clips of like Paranor Paran was it Paranorman? Something like that. It was a cartoon movie. And the Haunted House was also a cartoon movie. And then maybe a clip of Goosebumps and be like, what movie is this? And you know, I make a game out of it and they win prizes. Um or some kind of scary movie marathon, again, age appropriate. There are a lot of kids animated Halloween movies. You got Hocus Pocus, you know, Casper and what have you. Just do your research. Um, a scavenger hunt, uh, a Halloween scavenger hunt around the house or the yard or their neighborhood could make it spooky or it could just be fun. Uh, you could teach your kids poker, but play with candy <laughs> instead. <laughs> Um, you could have a pumpkin relay race, um, just decorate a bunch of pillowcases like pumpkins and like do a sock race or, you know, um, 
save up some toilet paper rolls and put them together and make pumpkin patans that they have to pass to run and do a race. You know, think outside the box. Use your crafts and your smarts and make games. Um, silly string fights outside. Best time to do it. It's Halloween. It's messy. Um, you can take them to play laser tag somewhere. Laser tag. <laughs> what did I just turn southern? <laughs> laser tag, like an actual place. Um, they have them in arcades or malls sometimes. Or you can order a game where your kids put the thing on and they have the gun. And when they get shot, it lights up and then they fake die. You know, kids are hilarious. Um, paper mache monster making. So instead of making masks, you can make your own uh, scary monster out of paper mache. Um, potion making is actually mocktail. So you could like put out a bunch of... Uh, juices and like cherries and hors d'oeuvres no real alcohol because these are kids but like all right make your potion and whoever's potion takes the best wins kids have fun like mixing and pretending to be little scientists um you could do sand art order some bottles of like skulls and bats and pumpkins and get some cool glittery uh orange and black colored sand and the kids can make those um you could do uh tie-dye for Halloween and like maybe instead of doing a traditional tie-dye you could get a bunch of sponges like bats pumpkins ghosts and set out some paint and they could like stamp a Halloween shirt if you will uh, clay skull making or ghosts like uh, buy sets of modeling clay and try to make your own ghost or make your own skull um, a ghost hunt or investigation or a monster hunt either you can stage a fake one or you can take your kids um, as part of your Halloween party uh, on the move to some haunted location like a hayride or a haunted house or something like that you could do a Halloween inspired kickball game like skull and bones versus the pumpkin smashers like make cute little t-shirts and you know, have a whole football game or a kickball game or something fun uh, pertaining to Halloween. Um, what else? Let's see if I can think of anything else off the top of my head. Oh, you can make scarecrows, um, like a scarecrow contest and stuff. Like, you know how in the summer they have sandcastle contests, like make the best scarecrow. You could put a bunch of props out and stuffings and clothes and they can just, you know, use their imagination to make a, a scary or a happy scarecrow. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, if you can't take your kids bowling, because that would be cool to do for Halloween, um, you could make a bowling themed out of Halloween uh, out of two liters if you just fill them halfway with water get a heavy enough bowl that they gotta knock it over you can do that right in the hallway in your house that would also be fun um, but yeah I hope something out of here gives you um, oh make carnival games but you know Halloween inspired like smash the spider instead of you know whack-a-mole uh, <laughs> Pop the brains instead of pop the balloons, you know. Make it fun. That would be cute. Um, if you have trash cans and just get, like, all different kinds of, like, Halloween stuff, like vampire teeth and pumpkins and bats, and they got to try to throw them in the things, and each, pin, each bin is worth a, a, a set amount of points. How many objects can you make? But it's all Halloween themed stuff. That would be cute as well. Um, or just, you know, flashlight tag. All the more spooky on Halloween. Or you could go out back and tell scary stories by the fire. Like back in the day. <laughs> like, are you afraid of the dark kids? Are you? You're going to be asked to live. <laughs> Have a little fun with it. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you again soon. If you like these ideas, if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up or a heart. It really does help me grow. And I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you all again soon. It's dinner time. I fasted all day. I'm starving, Marvin. It's time to put grub in the hub. <laughs> my tummy. My tummy hub. Not. I'm not ordering, though. I just realized grub hub. <gasps>
subconsciously did that. I only do that on the weekends. I make myself cook the rest of the week to save money. <laughs> anyway, I love you.